Hi, I'm the Adobe Guy, and today I'm going to talk about AutoCAD, which you may say is kind of weird, being the Adobe Guy talking about AutoCAD, but I'm going to give you a simple introduction to dynamic blocks within AutoCAD. To start with, I'm going to actually draw a block. I'm going to make it as simple as possible. I'm just going to drag this rectangle 800 by 600 and I'm going to make this into a block. So I'll go up to my block editor, create. I'm going to set the base point at the bottom left hand corner, select the objects on screen, just that one. And I'm going to call it desk. And I'm going to convert the object on the screen into this block. Okay, that's now actually a block and it's opened it up in the block editor. Now what I want to do is give this some parameters where I can set the size of the block. So I'm picking linear parameters because they're to do with the length of the block and I'm going to set a value, a set of values for these widths. Okay, and I'm going to put them in as a list. So the list is going to be 800 1000 and 1200. So those are the three options I've got for my desk size and those three sizes relate to uh, this distance across here and I'm just going to put that parameter above the top. Now that's just a distance at the moment and you'll see on the right hand side these little icons which show how far the desk will actually drag out to to be the full size. But that's useless without an action and the action has got to be a stretch action. So I apply the action to this parameter. That's the point I'm going to apply it to. So it's going to be that grip that I actually apply this drag to. And I'm then setting a stretch frame to cover those points and selecting the object within the stretch frame and press enter. Now let me just show you how that works on screen. So I'll save the changes to this block. And here it is. When I select it, I get a little grip here and I can actually drag it out to different sizes. And if you look at the top, you see the distance is coming up, showing me that's a, a 1200 desk, that's a 1000, and that's an 800. So I can choose whichever one I like, click, and that's the new size of my block. If I were to put in a new block, so I insert another block, desk I want, put it in there, it goes in in the, the size that I set it up initially. But this one, again, when I click on it, it's dynamic, just the same as the other one. OK, let's edit it again because I want it to be slightly different to that. I'm going to put in a lookup parameter. I'm going to put it on the left hand corner this time and I'm going to set the actions as being lookup actions on that parameter. Now the lookup properties that I'm going to put in, well I'm going to put in 800, 1000 and 1200 and then I'm going to put in the input properties which are going to be the same but this time I actually choose them from a drop down list. Okay so those are the values that I put in. Okay let's have a look and see how that works and obviously again I'm going to save the changes. So now when I selected I've not only got my original grips what I've got is a lookup table on the left hand side so I can resize the table according to these three options just by picking it there without having to drag it around. I'm now going to take off that grip that's remaining so I go back into edit one last time OK and what I do now is I'm just going to select just that grip and press delete on the keyboard and it's gone so when I close and save and I'll highlight the block again this time. That grip's gone from the right hand corner, and all I have is the lookup. So to make both these desks 800s, I can select the 800 option. OK. And that's all I have for you. I'm the Adobe Guy, and thanks for listening.